All right, so let's begin by sitting in a chair or you can stand um, with your ankles under your hips, hips under your shoulders in alignment. So you have that option, either choosing the chair or the standing position. And make sure either way, all four corners of your feet are planted on the ground. You start to allow weight to flow towards your feet, um, almost like you're an hourglass of your energy and your prana, your life force, and you're letting it just settle lower in your body. During the day, we're thinking a lot, we are using our minds, and we're using our hands a lot, we're probably feeling a lot, or vocalizing a lot, and a lot of that is more in the upper energy centers of the body. So, to be able to breathe nice and low into the belly and into your pelvic floor and feeling how, like even all the way down to the feet, your whole body is interacting with your vocalizations because they are vibrations in the body. So depending on how relaxed your lower body is, the notes can be more supported. It can feel better to sing and it will allow for less tension in the shoulders, neck and upper body. So let's start to Continue this process of letting the lower body relax and let go. Feel your hips letting go, spreading out on your seat or suspended in air. Unlock your knees if you're standing. And if you're sitting, just lean forward slightly with your palms on your thighs, just kind of encourage that weight down. Then we're going to take five mindful breaths down lower than you would normally take a breath. So into your belly and pelvic floor, spreading out and filling up with air as low as you can. We'll do that whispered ah on the exhale. You can breathe in through your nose right now, nice and slow. Last one, if you are sitting in the chair, plant your palms again on your thighs and lean forward just a few inches. Relax your belly as you inhale. Good. Let's do our shoulder squeeze and release. So squeeze the shoulders up and try to let the neck stay relaxed. So you should be able to move it in all directions without it feeling tense or tight, but your shoulders, your arms, your biceps, triceps, and shoulder caps, the muscles there are squeezing. Relax your lower body and your belly too. Take a deep breath in. One final squeeze and on the exhale, whispered ah and release. Good. 
Now gentle neck rolls. Inhale on the way up and back. Exhale as you're circling towards your chest. Inhale up and back. Exhale, chin to your chest. Relax your lower body, feet are planted all four corners. You're sensitizing your lower body. You can feel all four corners of your feet. And then take this in the opposite direction, exhaling down. Inhaling up and around. Maybe you yawn. It's sort of a regular inhale. And come to a neutral neck. So next we're going to do the diaphragmatic breathing technique. So I'm just choosing one in each category, mostly. Yeah, so for the first one, we just did feeling feet sitting comfortably or standing feet planted and we did do a breathing technique but now we're going to do a diaphragmatic breathing technique so that was more of a relaxing breath just to open everything up get things moving through the channels and now we're going to do the diaphragmatic breathing so we'll do z's and s's and sh and all of that so so first we'll do s, sh, and f, because they don't require notes. So we'll do a two count breath in. So it'll be. So that'll be 16 beats on the way out, two count breath in. So breathe all the way out for four. Breathe in. Next, we're going to just the S sound. So breathe all the way out for four. Breathe in. Last one is the F sound. Why don't you place a hand on your belly while you do this too and just feel a steady release. So steadily your, your belly should be moving in. Just breathe out. Breathe in. Take some natural breaths and let's just do one of these diaphragmatic sounds with the notes. So let's do z. Yeah, we're going to do just the z sound. We will do it on 
just the first three notes of the major scale. So it'll be Okay, so starting here. Breathe between. where I broke into mixed voice. So we're going to take it from there with a blend voice exercise. So we're going to do mm, mm, like the end sound. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So we're starting here. into head voice. So this might be a little bit different for you where you break into those different um, registers. So we can definitely make a video like this together with your voice so that you can follow along at the different breakpoints for yourself. But remember, we also like to try to bring the blend voice a little bit under where it would naturally break and a little bit over. And that just creates this opportunity for the registers to all feel like one voice because it is one voice right we have one voice but that voice can sing in different placements and different registers and some of those placements and registers are more comfortable for different ranges and that's different for everyone so if we learn which placement works for each one, then you start to smooth out the tone and make it seamless. So it's always one voice, but different registers. So where did we stop, I think? So let's just do some head voice, but we'll do it on. warm up from here. Uh, uh. All the way up to. <laughs> so let's, now that we kind of worked in the different registers in their comfortable placements, let's do some microtonal slurring through those different, um, through those different 
registers to start to create that seamless effect. So this is going to be blend. So ah, ah, that's a little low for me. <laughs> ah, ah. Let's try it though. So it'll be blend down into chest voice. waited till that top note stabilized because I'm still warming up too. It's the morning and this is my first warm up. So I want to wait until that note stabilizes and I feel everything relax and not be forced. Then I'm letting the slur through all these microtonal notes all the way down to the octave below. Come out and easefully come out. <laughs> all right, so. to take an mm, or an mm, break just to give everything a chance to relax a little bit more you can a little more stabilization so I'm gonna switch into one of those closed mouth placements or or like un unfinished sound so I can mm, or an mm. so n tends to work better for blend voice whereas Kind of invites more of a centered tone which is more of a head voice tone rather than like a forward uh, uh, that kind of encourages the sound forward so let's do n for this one syllable e. e. I 
listen to ooh. Ooh! 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 So that was a little over 20 minutes. So that should be a really nice warm up for you to start singing. And if you don't feel warm enough, I definitely recommend doing more mmms and mmms, definitely. Um, because those are just going to create a lot of relaxation and be vibrating and, and warming up. Um, you know, vibrating into all the muscle tissue that you want to be warm and ready. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions and happy singing. Bye.